pregnant belly of coneflower and larkspur, cold caves of blue pine and barberry, where shale grows up and bumps into sun, breathes across the moon, lunar party, dream of history striated. People find here, people found here, people lose here, people lost here, people hunt here, people hunted here, people trap here, people trapped here, people live here, people lived here, people sing here, people sang here, people take here, people taken here, people come here, people left here, people return here, people stay here, people gone. At its base, a labyrinth of rivers spilling sedge and cattail into an island creek, beholden and cut for use, sentry and citadel flying. Past Chafin Bar and Hatfield Liquors, brief homes to aged middlemen waiting on time, memory pickpocketed, shortchanged in bottles, slugged currency. Past the policy homes, burnt each one of them by knowing hands more than once, blistering and mobile according to rain. The owners, early men with trucks and limited speech, their wives, all itinerant mothers looking for water, and the sons, pig boys raging in the bougainvillea. They know their poverty only when the wood of those who have crossed shine a deepening brown. Otherwise, they live amidst a mountain they claim daily and proudly in an ethos of only we belong here. The pig boys recite their zip code or sipped liquor and syrup made slow by bloody knuckles pinching tobacco between tight lips. They do not speak often, but they speak enough. Sons of early men, there is brotherly duty to keep what is kept, to spit where there is dirt, to stand in the wind. Worry is for what is left behind. The future is a fist of coal. Past small choreographies of silence, here a bobcat chewing her reflection in the struggling creek, there a hand-sewn doll waving eyelessly from the dogwood, and here a gum-mouthed grandmother listening to the shadows on her porch. Up the pocked audacious hill and past the tipple, into deciduous air, into humidities mounting invisible coals, fissiled and glazed by a sun never seen sea level. The tyranny of pig boys. Brotherhood of men children whose hands sweat coal and faces that sweat more than smile like their own. But they do not own these sweating faces that shout and pray like their own and they are not home, and thus they are not welcome, nor welcoming. Homelessness makes home for the despot. Even the caress of clover, of, excuse me, of clover or flocks does not sway cruelty when cruelty knows its own. Yet there are those who plow for other water, dare love through any loam. Exogamous, willing history and death, but more, smiling lives behind their own. Children born in a land of mines to daughters and sons of tunnel walkers and strange, estranged must smile for their first picture of the world as a tiny window of mulberry and faces by in surprise. They smile because they are born from a dare men who eat their own flesh must abide. She was to give birth to a child who would not maintain her skin, this one-eyed woman hunched in hemlock, churning earth, looking for her other side. Her papa snatched away, threw into the galaxy of forest, dared her to fight it in the matching. Pete and wet this rifle, eating her breast. They say you can hear her only after midnight and only with your ear to the ground. Love. Not a crucible nor a reservoir. Between them, a limbo of desire and lynching. She, a daughter of an early man. He, a son of railed believers. And they, children, in a forest of midnight. They meet when the dirt opens and the moon and only light. She, barefoot and unashamed. He, open-handed and bold. They dance here in this secret 
roomless room where shale and peat and ash do not protect but witness. She straddles him, cleaving dark memory between pale thighs, call it time traveling. She filled, he filling, an ancient exchange, the land too, a country of minds. But no water for this love, only the thin light fingering oak and the music of skin kissing skin. You are my daughter. You have a duty. You will not disgrace me. You will not. You will not. You will not. You will not mongrelize my family. You will have sons that look like us. You are my daughter. You have a duty to keep pure. You have a duty to keep pure. You have a duty to keep pure. Our blood, 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 our blood. Our blood, our blood, our blood, our blood, our blood. But Papa, we are in love. But Papa, I love him. But Papa, but please, Papa, no, please, you don't understand. Papa, stop. You are hurting me. No, you don't understand. We are in love. You don't understand. Papa, please stop. You are my daughter, my blood. You will not disgrace me. You will not, not. Generations, girl. Generations, blood, pure. You will keep pure. You will keep pure. You are my blood, my blood, my blood. But Papa, I love him. He is good. He is right. He makes my son rise. Blood. You are my child. You will keep pure. You are my blood. You have a duty. Blood. Pure blood. The fathers work their hands to meet side by side, terry matter lining throats. This one, an early man, alabaster, avowed, helmed by immigrant arrogance, a willful ignorance, and sometimes not. It was work, and he needed Sicily in his small garden behind the three-family company house. The other, brailed believer, mafic and refined by the quiet of bootstrap mobility, this too a willful ignorance, a necessary erasure of plantation prologues, but long and deep in Alabama fields. The sweat of days on homemade collars, britches, crackling tar, and sulfur ash, down there in tunnel after blackening tunnel, away in anaerobic danger was a walking shadow camouflaged in coal. The early man did not see it, panicked, threw his shovel into its belly, and was enveloped. The Gilsonite now on tongue and ears, legs broken under rock after rock, dark now and darker. The brailed believer crawled, clawed, hollered, heaved through salt, silt and lime, ash pressed close and heavy as skin, found him, pulled him out, wiped his black face so that he might breathe, the two of them, black together on blacker rock, pressed against the shadows of the hole. It was work, yet they were brothers. Only then, outside the caves in the daylight of public, there remained and grew a continental drift. A saved life could not steer the course. Thank you.